I know I don't normally wear hats for videos, but this is my yacht makeup that I wore Saturday. And the only reason I thought to bring it to YouTube is because I got so many requests for what I was wearing. And it was such a simple makeup and it was so beautiful, even in the heat and humidity. And it was as pretty as at 6.30 at night as it was when I put it on at 10 in the morning. In fact, it might even have been prettier throughout the day. I did jet skis, I was in the rain, I was in heat and humidity on a yacht Saturday in Miami, and this is just the prettiest yacht makeup. So stay tuned, learn how to be bougie. It doesn't take much, it all fits in this little palette, and I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year educator in makeup. I worked in Hollywood. I'm also 55, about to be 56 years old. So I know a thing or two about aging faces. And before you think it or say it, yes, I had a facelift on February 1st, but guess what? That doesn't take away from the fact that I have been doing all ages, all races, all genders, for 30 years. So I'm an educator. I teach mature makeup techniques, regardless of facelift or not. I still have, you know, lines and wrinkles. I have sunspots and sun damage. Um, I'm still saggy right here because we're that's a whole other thing we're dealing with. The surgery can't really do much for this area right here. I have pores that are getting larger. I have some texture. Anyway, someone set me off today on Instagram. You'll have to go and read it. I don't even have time to talk about it. It's just, it's so irritating. Especially when they end their nasty criticism with, if I had the money, I would get a facelift too, in parentheses, except I don't think you should have one and that's not fair, so wham. Anyway, I created Mature Makeup Masterclass. You can always find that link in every video. It's a series of over 20 videos on Mature Technique. And guess what? I'm adding to it. So starting in July, I'm going to start adding some new and updated classes. If you paid last year, if you paid $57 for your masterclass, you're locked in at that rate. I just raised it to $67 so that I could pay a referral fee. So if you refer the class to family and friends, you get a $10 referral fee. Um, so if you, imagine if you get 10 people, you, you just earned a hundred bucks, like easy peasy, and then they get 10% off. So I, I raised it to $67. I'm going to raise it again to $97. So get locked in right now at $67. You're locked in for life. And I'm always going to be adding videos when I see fit, when I see that um, there's some updated information that I want to share on Masterclass, okay? So um, here's what we're going to do today. I went on my yacht not my yacht, but I went on a mastermind. It was my business coach. She said, hey, can y'all be in uh, Miami on the 17th of June? And we all said yes. And there was only 13 of us. It's, it was a huge yacht, but the Coast Guard is a real stickler about how many people can go on the yacht. So I went and I brought this cute, look how cute this caftan is. Is this so cute? I wore a different one that day, but this is the one everyone voted on. So I decided to wear it today. Um, but listen to this. I did my makeup at 10 in the morning. It was going to be 93, hot, humid, lots of rain, and we were doing jet skis. I did not want to wear foundation. So I did my makeup exactly how I'm going to do it right now. It was 10 in the morning. And when I checked my makeup at 630 at night, because I ran to put on um, some warmer clothes, it started to cool down a bit. I could not believe how good my makeup looked. It looked beautiful. And when I say that, y'all, I'm not bragging. I want you to feel beautiful too. When you come back to me and say, I felt so beautiful in this makeup. I feel so cute. In fact, my sister-in-law's mom she just beat breast cancer. I gifted her some Saint makeup, just a few pieces here and there. And now she's hooked and wants to buy more, but she struggled the first couple times as we all have. And now that she got it, she's like, I feel so beautiful. It lasts all day. She lives in Huntington beach, California. And she said, it's so it's just so pretty. It's so glowy and pretty. Cause she's probably 
Let's see, Sharon's probably late 60s or, no, she might be early 70s. She's around my parents' age, early 70s. So I, you all, this is what I live for. I want you to feel cute. I want you to feel beautiful. And I want you to say that it's okay. It's not vain to feel beautiful. We're not saying, oh, I'm such a beautiful person. No, we're saying I feel beautiful today. But guess what? When we roll out of bed, we don't feel beautiful. So we're allowed to express how we feel in that moment. And it's fun to feel cute and beautiful. It's fun to feel pretty. It doesn't mean we're going to feel that way 24 seven. And it doesn't mean you're vain for saying so. I want you to feel that way. That's why I'm here. Okay. All right. So real quick. Um, oh, I, also wanted to say, I started a Mature Makeup Masterclass page on Facebook. It's a business page, so you have to go and look for pages. Just type in Mature Makeup Masterclass. I did that because I'm going to do more short live videos over there. It's also a way for me to promote my masterclass because that's really when I want to grow. I don't want to be a little monkey on TikTok anymore going, buy this. I'm so, t I'm tired of that lifestyle, okay? I realize I'm a mature influencer, but I wanna do it on my terms. And for me, that saint, that's my masterclass. And then when I fall in love with the product, I'll talk about it without being paid to talk about it. That said, I never accept an ad campaign on TikTok unless I love a product. So I have kept integrity with that, but I'm gonna be even stricter, okay? So I have a new SPF on today. Many of you know how much I love the Dew Glow Naturium. Yeah, you, I'd say I loved it. It's gone. SPF 50. It's super glowy. It looks gorgeous under Saint, but Saint's already glowy. So if you're oily skin and you're like, I'm already glowy. I already come with my own glow. I don't need more glow. The Saint makes me glowy. Look at this. This is matte. Susan Yara from Naturium just sent me this. It is so nice. I just put it on in a live video. I've been wearing it for about 10 minutes. It's just natural skin. It's not glowy. It's an SPF 50. It's chock full of antioxidants to prevent free radical damage. Um, it smells good. It smells like fruit, but not fake. It's not like fake fruit. It smells really nice. The smell goes away. I don't smell it anymore. Um, but it's, it, it's very nice. It's a chemical sunscreen. Naturium is all chemical. If you're looking for mineral, I've talked about this before. This is my favorite. Also, did I love it? Yes, I did. I'm squeezing out the last little bit. This was sent to me in PR. This I just bought last week or a week and a half ago. It took a while to ship. I'm so in love with this because it lightens my skin. It lightens my sunspots and it gives me a better foundation to start with because then I can go in with my saint and I wear less saint because this kind of knocks back a lot of the pigmentation and blotchiness. I love this. Okay. That's, that's mineral. Okay. So here is how I started my makeup on Saturday. I started with say slip tint. Now, yes, I have this on and this has an SPF 35, but this is not enough SPF because how much are you really getting? It's great that it has a 35 SPF in it. We'll take the added protection, but I always want you wearing your own SPF. Okay. We're big girls. We're going to wear our own SPF. We're not Gen X and boomers anymore. Okay. I do two pumps. And I'm gonna go all over my face. This just does the, a light evening out. Just wanted it to even me out a little bit because I knew being in hot Miami humidity and heat, I knew that I was not gonna want foundation. I knew I did not want that. I'm gonna take the tiniest, like little, not even, not even half a squirt, less than half, and just do a little bit on my neck, just to make sure it's evened out. I did have self tanner on, on the boat, which I've talked about before. Self tanner just enhances sunspots. It makes sunspots darker because it's just, it's an equal opportunity tanner, right? It tans all melanin. So it doesn't matter if you are light and have sunspots, it's going to darken the sunspots too. See all my sun damage down here? Look at that self tanner. I have a little on. It just, it just enhances sun damage in my opinion, but it's okay. I wanted to have a little bit on. Okay. So 
here are the palettes that I brought with me to the hotel to Miami. Um, and so I went in, of course, you know what I'm going to say, Bella, Bella bronzer. I went in with Bella and to save space, you know, sometimes I like to put two Bellas together, but to save space, I only did one Bella. I realize I have my Athens and candlelit right there. I don't know why I even brought those because it's so hot in Miami, um, but I did bring them. So remember to get up into that hairline. Our hairline's a little bit lighter. I did my nose. I did my outer cheeks. So over on Instagram this morning, I did a quick one minute video about this makeup. Um, I, I don't really talk about how I did it. I just show myself doing it and I'm talking over the video, but that was just to get new people interested <clears throat> in this beautiful, easy makeup. Um, and I'm sending them all a visual guide. So if you also want a visual guide of all the products I'm using today, um, I am super happy to email that to you. So you can go to my Saint email, which is colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com, okay? We don't use my personal email, you know why? Because you all get lost. I have too many brands in there, my agency's in there, my personal stuff's in there, my bills are in there. It's just way too much and everyone gets lost in my personal email. But if you go to colormatchbymichelle, at gmail.com, you don't get lost because everyone in there is just about saint. It's just about saint, so you don't get lost, okay? You have my permission to email me there anytime you want, and many of you do, and I'm super happy when you do. I love to connect with you. Okay, I always take a tiny, tiny bit on the neck, just a little bit. So I didn't go super bronzy, right? Like this is not super bronzy. Let's see if I keep doing this, patting, 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 it kind of helps distribute it, but that's it. I did not do heavy bronzer. Then I went in with my crease, of course, went into my crease. Oh, I didn't put my brows on yet. Well, maybe we'll do that real quick. Okay, I love bronzer in my crease, especially when I'm gonna be close up to people. Okay, so let me tell you something. So we're all on the yacht, we're introducing each other. I did not know a soul, not a soul. I didn't know who was gonna be there, so I couldn't even really look them up ahead of time. I've never met my business coach, but I have followed her for <clears throat> six years. I started following her in 2017. And um, it was great to meet her. You know, they always say, be careful of meeting your, your mentors or your heroes because they can disappoint you. I knew she wouldn't. I'd followed her for too long. Um, but anyway, she's only 34. And she looked at me and we were sitting across the table. We were all nibbling. And she looked at me and she said, your skin is is absolutely beautiful. And I said, thank you. She's 34. I said, thank you. I said, you know, I did have a facelift on February 1st. She's like, yeah, I know. She's like, but your skin is glowing. And I said, thank you for recognizing I've worked very hard on my skin, my skincare, and I'm wearing glowy makeup. And we just left it at that. It was just a silent little like, okay. Meant the world to me. Okay, so I'm gonna take Paris. I love Paris because it's the prettiest pink. Now, you could just stop at Paris. You really could. You really could just stop at Paris because that really pretty pink, it's a matte pink. It's kind of light, but not too light. And I love to put it on with my finger, and I think it looks so pretty juxtaposed to the warmth of Bella. I just absolutely love the pink with the Bella, okay? I love it. I love that together. But I didn't stop there. Then I took a little bit, this turns out this is Crush. I thought it was Bright Eyes, but it's Crush. Doesn't matter, they're pretty much the same. I don't know if you've noticed this about the gold and bronzes with Saint, but they all look the same. And so it's like, why do we have four golds, 
four or five bronzes. They all look the same. So this is actually Crush. And I wanted to do Crush just kind of in the center. So when I moved, a little bit of warmth is over that pink and it, it blends even more with that beautiful Bella, okay? Then I took my Envy Plus One And I just wanted to smudge it between the lashes so that I just had kind of a, a shadowy lash line without looking like I had actual eyeliner on. Now, we went on jet skis. Many of us went on jet skis one time. I went on the jet skis twice because I was um, joked with that I was not going fast enough. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm up for the challenge. First of all, I'm adrenaline junkie. Y'all need to know that about me. I'm not reckless when I drive my car, but put me on any roller coaster in the world or put me in a car with a NASCAR driver or F1, I'm all about speed. I love it. I love to go fast. I love adrenaline. So I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm going out there, going back out. Um, but do you see how it's just like, you don't really see a line it's just more of a shadow um the girls who did have eyeliner on and went on jet skis their eyeliner like came half off mine didn't because it just looks like shadow it doesn't look like makeup okay so that's what i did and then i like to take the tiniest bit whatever is left on this brush actually i might have to re-dip i'm gonna take a tiny bit in that outer corner like that. I'm not gonna blend it yet, but see what I've done? Just, just in the outer eye to give me a little bit more depth. See? Is that even? Not really. Well, you know, I do have asymmetrical eyes. I think most of us do. I definitely have asymmetrical eyes. Okay. Now we can go back in with our blending brush that we used for Bella and just kind of like lightly blend that NV plus one into the Bella and the outer crease and see how it just created a little bit more depth. Just a little bit more depth. I just wanted a little bit more depth. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's real quick for kicks and giggles. Let's do my Anastasia pencil. You know, I just haven't, maybe I haven't played enough. I'll be honest, maybe I just haven't played enough. But I don't think that I have um, found a saint color that I like in my eyebrows. Again, I fully admit to not playing or searching real hard. I probably should work really hard at finding like a saint color for my eyebrows. So maybe I'll work on that in July, but I have not worked on that. And so I'm still using my Anastasia Beverly Hills. And you know, I love my Maybelline. Those are my two favorite pencils. And I'm just, do you see how I'm just going, I'm just going under the brow and then I go to the peak and I kind of do a little bit of the tail, a little bit of the peak, but I don't really fill in. Now see how the line extends a little bit? You'll see why in a minute. If I see a little space, I can always go in. If I see like a little bald spot, but do you see how fast and easy that is? That is just so fast and easy. Then I take the brush and I brush up that little inner line because I don't want to look like I have a lot of product on that inner eyebrow. It can make us look too harsh to go into that inner eyebrow with too dark of a color or too bold of a stroke. Okay, there you go. And that's exactly what I did on the boat too. I did not, I was not fancy with the eyebrows. I'm going to show you an added bonus in a minute. I didn't put this on the yacht video, um, but you guys get it here as a YouTube exclusive. Okay, now 
I love, love, love a good brow gel that keeps my brows up. You know, obviously you don't need a brow gel if you plucked all your brows off and you don't have a lot of brow hair. I'm not here to tell you you need a brow gel, but praise God, I plucked all my eyebrows off to like pencil thin in the early 80s and I did it again in the mid 90s and thank God they grew back a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. And then I use a brow serum by Obagi and it really makes them long and thick. Okay, so we have that. Now, we're gonna go in with Demi. You know we are, you know we're going in with Demi. So I was very, I did not do the whole Demi like I normally do. I didn't care about the red around my nose because we were gonna be outdoors in the sun and I knew my face would be getting a little wet. So I just, I didn't go full Demi, but I did do that little bit of peach on the inner eye because I'm dark. A little bit on the inner eye. Look, do you see my dents from this morning's readers? Now I do have my, I do have my um, contacts in. And y'all, I can't thank you enough. I love these contacts. And I'm really careful about putting them back in the right space. Because <laughs> remember I told you a week and a half ago, I, I put the left in the right eye and the right in the left. And I thought, well, maybe it doesn't matter. And a couple of you are like, no, dumb, dumb. It does matter. I mean, you didn't say that. You were very kind to me, but you said, no, it absolutely matters. You can't put them in the wrong eye. So this is my reader and this is my distance. And I love it, especially for videos. It's my favorite. Now I might take them out later because I do like to wear um, glasses when I'm Oh, I don't know, reading a book or on my computer, which is a little bit more mid-range because I have a desktop. <clears throat> Driving, I don't love to wear these when I drive. I find that, you know, if I close this eye, I can see distance, but then this is my reader. So when they're both open, I just don't love, I don't have crisp vision when I'm driving. So I really, I think I'm really just using these um, contacts for when I shoot content, or maybe if I have like an evening out, or you know, you get it. I don't need it for, I don't need them for every single day of my life, but I do like having them and I'm so thankful to you guys. I love how we all just help one another here. We're such a supportive close-up club. We're the look good close-up club, right? Um, I'm going to have a few veins showing, but again, you know, I went on a boat. I wasn't trying to correct every flaw. You know, you can see a couple veins, not a big deal. Kind of did the tip of my nose. Okay. So that's what I did for Demi. And then, um, I also could take a little bit of the peach and go around the nose real quick. It did help a little bit with the redness. Um, you have to remember too that um, in the pink and red on our face is a lot of blue. So the peach can help. I don't love it as much as GY1, but it does help. Okay, and then you know I went in with my very favorite blush. I wanted a blush that was super, super long wearing and I didn't have to think about. And so for me, that is R5. I love R5. So I took some R5. My coach, Jessie Lee, loved this look so much. I'm going to send it to her. She's going back to Germany. She is fighting stage four. I don't want to say hi fighting. She likes to say healing. She's healing from stage four colon cancer. And um, I'm going to ship her a bunch of saint makeup just to... So, so she, she doesn't have to pack makeup if she doesn't want to. She doesn't have to schlep all this over there. I'm going to send it to her hotel in Germany and um, then she can play and, and have fun with it because she deserves that. Anyone fighting cancer deserves to feel beautiful. Okay. And then, you know, I like to take a little bit out here. I also love to take a little bit of the light color, kind of go right in that brow bone but that's it. That was, that was my look y'all. This is pretty much my look. Now, um, I'm going to do mascara. 
I did tubing mascara. I specifically did tubing mascara because this has now worked for two summers in a row when I have been in Wilmington shooting TV shows in swampy 90 degree heat. This stays in place. It doesn't smear. It doesn't flake. It doesn't crumble or flake or anything. It's amazing. I love tubing mascara. You either love it or hate it. Some people don't like it. I think it's the best thing ever invented because it creates little tubes. So I want you to think of like each lash is coated with a little like hollow spaghetti, right? So there's a little hollow spaghetti on every single lash and it's not really a building mascara. So you're gonna put it on real quick and then you're done. It doesn't really build too much. It's not because you're not, we're, de we're dealing with little tubes. The point of the tubes is they stay on your lashes. They stay in place till you take them off with warm water removal. And by warm, I mean almost hot. I don't think it works with like a lukewarm. It really has to be like a hot, warm water. And then what they do is they slide off in little tubes. So they make kind of a mess in your sink, but I'd rather have a mess in my sink than on my face. When I tell you that I did two jet ski trips, that afternoon and came back. I was constantly sprayed in the face and all I did was just blink my eyes to get the salt water out of my eyes and to let my lashes dry. I got on the boat. I'm like, I bet I look like a mess. I don't care. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to learn. I'm here to network. So I wasn't too concerned about how messy I looked. Okay. Then I went back out after about an hour. I did the jet ski again. This time the wind had really picked up. There was a lot of white caps on the water. So you can imagine it was a lot of water in my face because I was hitting these waves going as fast as I could without being reckless, okay? I really wanted to show these guys that, you know what, you're gonna challenge me to go faster, I'm gonna do it. So I was constantly getting sprayed in the face and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my second time out. I bet I'm really a mess. Again, when I got on the boat, I just went back into, um, you know, re relationship mode. I wasn't thinking about my face or how I looked. That's when you know you're in the moment. I also didn't take a lot of photos because I was so in the moment. Um, another thing is I love tubing mascara on the lower lashes because I'm telling you, it does not budge. And this is tried and true for several summers now, several summers. And I'm not out, I'm not outside doing TV for an hour or two. I'm outside for like 14 hours in the swampy North Carolina, humid, beachy weather. And I'm telling you at the end of the day, there is no zero smears. It stays on. That's why I love tubing mascara. And look how long that is. Of course, I do use a lash serum. So, um, and again, they slide off with hot to warm water. So I knew I was good, right? So I went on my second jet ski. I was like, I must look a mess. Um, wasn't thinking about it. As soon as we got on the boat, the crew made us a beautiful meal. We had sliders, we had chicken skewers. Um, it, it was so delicious. And then um, we, we sat around the table talking for about an hour to an hour and a half and then get this. Sorry, ice. The crew comes back in and says, okay, fajitas will be served in about 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we just eat sliders and chicken skewers. Now we're having fajitas. And it was starting to get dark. Um, it was starting to get cooler, not cold, but cooler. I decided to go and change into dinner clothes. So I put on white linen pants and a white t-shirt. I looked in the mirror and my makeup was even prettier than when I had put it on at 10 in the morning. I kid you not. I was shocked. It was just this. You see it. You see what I have on. Oh, here's the one thing I put on that I didn't put in my Instagram video. I did a little bit of this Jones Road sparkle wash because it just creates this cute little highlight. I just did it in the center of the eyelid. It just creates this cute little like glittery, sparkly... And when I did it right here on the inner eye, because I just like that little like 
glittery, sparkly. See that? I'm not even going to be like really blendy blendy with this because you guys get the gist. But it's so cute. It's so cute. Let's see if I can get my little... I use this little brush to kind of just help blend it a little bit better. There. See that little bit of sparkle? I forgot to put that. Because I just forgot. I forgot. I totally forgot to put it. Then let's do our lips. So lips I did. I did my usual, you all. You know I'm a creature of habit. So I have the ColourPop BFF. Hold on. I love this pencil, but it's super cheap because look at this. It's not supposed to be doing that. And I do color it on the lip a bit because I want the darker color to blend into it. Now I go in with my mature, uh, mature um, Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine, and I kind of just go under the lower lip. And the top. I don't take it to the outer corners. I don't need it. I have the lighter pencil out there for that. And then, check this out. I take a little bit of R5. See how I'm sticking more? I kind of start, I don't go right in the middle. I kind of start more in the outer corners and work my way to the middle. Otherwise, that pink is just gonna stick. And then I just did a lip balm. Literally just, where's my lip balm from Saint? I don't even know where it is. Is it here? Here it is. My lip balm. So nice, I love this lip balm. I love it because I can wear it to bed at night, but I can also wear it over colors and it's made to go with Saint, so I think it's really nice. And then if you want to get real crazy at nighttime, you can go in with the Jones Road Sparkle Wash. And it looks like you're wearing a gloss because of the little sparkle, but I don't like gloss. My hair sticks to it. I just... Sometimes gloss makes my lipstick run, but this on my eyelid and my lips. And look at that. Isn't that cute? I really love that. This, and their sparkle gloss, I think this is in pink, barely pink. Last week for my Jones Road video, I did Midas, which is more of an antique gold, but this is barely pink. You see that? It looks like I'm wearing gloss and I'm not. Okay, that's it, y'all. And I didn't even I didn't even lock this in. I didn't bring this to Miami with me because I didn't want TSA to take it away from me. So I mean imagine this would have even made it even last longer, though I didn't need it to. Um Yeah, and then when I did post, people would be like, well, what's this? Well, what's this? Well, what's this? I mean, everyone was asking about my makeup because it just looked so pretty. Look how, look how natural that looks. I didn't have any fake lashes on, even though I really wanted to wear fake lashes. And then this was the hat I wore. I mean, come, come on, look how bougie this looks. The silk caftan with this hat. I mean, listen, I was looking bougie. I was looking like I belonged on a yacht, y'all. And I was not raised that way. My parents did not have money. We don't have money. Look at my red carpet. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. We're getting new carpet in July, though. Thank you for bearing with me. But look, 
and then some big old Gucci sunnies. Are you kidding me? Like you could look like a million dollars anywhere you go with this. I love this. I love this. You know what also, I've never tried Ash, which is, um, ooh. Ash is, um, Ooh, I've never tried Ash before. Ash is a contour by Saint. Now, I never use a dark contour for the nose. I always stay light because I want it to look natural. Oh, I love that. That's Ash. That's going in. That's going to Nashville with me. I love that. Oh, and you know what? We can even do a little ash under the lips because it makes it look like your lips casting a little shadow. Looks like, it, looks like your lips casting a little shadow. Okay, what do we think? Got makeup. I love it. Okay, so remember you can email color match by Michelle at gmail.com for your visual guide of this whole look. You, it's, it's just a PDF I made on canvas, but you can, you're welcome to have it. Um, if you're new here, or if you come from another artist, I can always provide you my party link. Um, I make a new one each month. So my party link only works until June 30th and July 1st, I'll have a brand new party link. You'll have to reach out. And if you use my party link, you have to use a brand new browser that you've your devices aren't used to because if you sign in with my party link, it's still gonna have your artist at the top of your shopping cart and that's not fair to me because I've done all the work and I've done 30 years of education. So if you could just pick a totally different browser like Firefox, which is becoming more obscure, you could do Firefox, then use my link and then Saint website will not recognize you and they will give you um, to me for that particular sale. I'm not trying to take you away from your artist. I love your artist like you love your artist, so I want you to stay with your artist, but that's how you can shop with me if you are locked under another artist, okay? Um, I also have my Shop My Looks link if you are interested in the Say or any of the SPFs or the Sparkle Wash or the Thrive Mascara, which is a tubing mascara that I love even more than waterproof. It comes off so easily. That's the thing I hate about waterproof. It's so hard to get off. I can't stand it. So um, anyway, there we have it. Let me know what you think in comments. Would you wear this look? Many of you who have followed me for some time, you, most of you have most of it because I, and I know, cause a lot of you on Instagram are like, oh my gosh, I have most of these colors. I'm like, because they're my favorite. So I'm going to talk about them again and again and again. That makes me so happy. You guys already have this. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and support. God loves you. I love you. And I will see you back here next week. Bye for now.